I've enjoyed this class and have learned a lot about the various forms of art. Something that specifically stood out for me was photography. I always thought that photography was a way to remember a momentous occasion or family vacation. I did not realize that it could be complex and hold a real value. This course had shown me that within the mundane, you could also find artistic meaning. I had originally viewed photography as a fundamental step-by-step -step process in which you could break down a piece of work systematically. There are so many aspects that are used in photograph in order to make it a spectacular piece of art. Using different techniques of lighting, focus, focal point, light and shadow, and angle, the photographer can expand the image and its meaning. Exactly. For me, MHC has been extremely influential in my interpretation of photography. The various exhibits, performances, and discussions have also helped me understand art in a different light. I have found that art is not only valuable, but inherently interesting, especially photography. Photographs can be used as evidence, which is seen daily around the world, with constant video cameras in importance. Soon Sonsbad believes that photographs hold as proof of an event, and that picture taking is an event in itself. Photographs have the power to wake up the viewer from her selfish and self-centered ways, making it a better place for everyone. Exactly. Consider the work of Gary Winogrand, who espouses that it is often the typical and mundane, which reveals an environment's true beauty. Gary Winogrand's proclivity and preference for street photography stands out as one of the most defining characteristics of his work. I think the photographers who uh, I feel that I learned the most from, most immediately, uh, who uh, I feel most responsible to, are Walker Evans and Robert Frank. Like Frank, Winogrand primarily photographs people on the beach in Santa Monica, on the streets of Hollywood, all over the country. He currently lives in Los Angeles, but it won't be long before he feels driven to head for another town in another state. Winogrand doesn't want to have the multifaceted way he tackles reality pinned down in categories. I, I hate the term. I think it's a stupid term, street photography. I don't think it, it makes any, it, it tells you anything about a photographer or work, in a way, actually. Um. Winogrand maintains that the problem in photography doesn't consist of taking a pretty picture. It's to find a way to transform the real world into something completely different, into a distinct image. <laughs> what I like and get drawn to about a photograph is a scene taking place and the way it connects to my life. The act of taking pictures was far more fulfilling to Winogrand than making prints or editing for books and exhibitions. So he allowed others to perform these tasks for him. Winogrand's photography of Manhattan in the second half of the 20th century seems to capture ordinary urban moments and il illuminate them in the most extraordinary fashion. One could legitimately contend Winogrand's eye for finding beauty assimilated in everyday city scenes is unparalleled. Winogrand photographed life in America after the war and the events that occur on a daily basis including businessmen, women on the street, famous actors and athletes, hippies, politicians, soldiers, animals and zoos, rodeos, car culture, airports, anti-war demonstrators, and the construction workers who are beating them to a move to In fact, Winogrand exemplifies through these different scenarios the critical notion that photography is the sum of its parts and not the other way around. Each segment distributes further understanding while no sole object in this photography is personified above its counterparts. Michelle and I can both agree the example of Winogrand's work is just a small illustration of MHC's 100th effectiveness in changing our attitude towards art. In the end, you must give credit to our dear professor, Mrs. Klitsch, who has irreversibly and thoroughly transformed our overall outlook, perception, and interpretation of art and photography.